first annual awards evening. December 17th, this Sunday, we have a stacked card for the final storyline show at the end of this year <laughs> and headlined by Joshy Baker <laughs> and Keyboard Warriors. <laughs> so, without further ado and all that nonsense, let's introduce our roast for this evening. First of all, of course, the man that makes it all happen. The man that makes his printer run so low, he's risking his job. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your general manager, Chris Clifton! <laughs> and of course, our second host, the man, of course, who made all of this happen. The man who also spends way too much on his suntan. <laughs> <laughs> and the man that obviously wears trunks that are too small for him. <laughs> Apart from T-Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, meet the Pro Wrestling World Champion Triple Crown, yeah. Ross Rascal! <laughs> He's done some edits on some of these videos. Come on, Sam. Peter Pan. 
it's called. <laughs> but enough talking, we're going to kick things off. Now, we're going to kick things off, not with a physical award, but the winner of this will be ingrained and their legacy will be ingrained forever because we're going to kick things off with Match of the Year. <laughs> now, as I said, there'll be no physical awards for this. How this works is we'll get the match graphic, of course, and we'll place that in the plaque on the wall and we'll do that every single year. When it's time for the physical awards, we'll let you know. We'll announce the winner. Up you come. Shake Mr. Clifton's hand. Shake my hand. Collect your award. Get a nice lovely photo from Ali, of course, and you've got a choice. You can either just sit down and smile and buzz. You can have an interview. We'll just give you a quick interview. Or Boston might be able to interview you. He's quite charismatic. <laughs> also, Boston's super excited because Chicken Run 2 is being released tonight. <laughs> Buzzing, he can't wait. And of course, if you don't want to have an interview, you can actually have a full on speech. But that's how it's going to work. But let's kick things off. Hopefully, this works. We're going to kick things off with a couple of honourable mentions, though. Do you remember what the honourable mentions were well, after match of the year? <laughs> this is where it's on your phone. They're great matches, they're really phenomenal, <laughs> phenomenal matches. Absolutely phenomenal matches. <laughs> Very phenomenal matches. Really <laughs> memorable. <laughs> 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 yeah, they really are. So, we started off. And then we had some great wow. discussions. We had. We, we were arguing over yeah, yeah, we, we argued over uh, what match of the year was for ages, what, they, what it meant to you, what it meant to the academy. Should it be a technical masterpiece? Should it be. A, the one that's just memorable for all the right reasons, and we had an absolute great time debating that. So we start with the honourable mention. The first one was Ego versus Kane at Mr. Bash. Ooh. 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 West Danger, and where is he? Hi, yeah. Zach Travis. There he is. Box has put up a nice together, a nice little big video. We're going to enjoy together as a team. What is our match of the year?
Okay, so we are going to go to our brain to our next physical award. Uh, very excited for this one to say the least. Again, you can word this however you need. This is going to be best gimmick. So this is based on the most creative, the most entertaining, and a gimmick that you can get a lot of mileage out for years to come, and is easily adaptable. So once again, I'll hand you this, this award. <coughs> This, this what this person gives this gimmick from the moment they step into this heaven, the academy, from the moment they leave, and it's for Phoenix. Where is it? We've got a little bit of a special treat. Special treat! Special treat! Special treat! What we've got, we've got um, a little bit of a message from one of our favourite professional wrestlers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, people. It's uh, Jack Johnson here. From me. Um, yeah, I just wanted to send you all a little video. Uh, sending you my best wishes, all the best and that. I see you're all smashing it, absolutely killing it from all the videos that Rossi keeps putting up and I keep seeing you all online, absolutely smashing it. But yeah, all the best, keep up the hard work. And uh, I'll tell you something now, when I was all your age, I wish I had a place as cool as Rascals Wrestling Academy and I wish I had a coach as cool as Rossi. So yeah, keep up the good work and I'll see you all in December. Thanks to Ross for giving me the opportunity in the world. Yeah. 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 Yeah
need to talk. Uh, I've got something to say. Uh, Brandon Brigham, the cool thing is, he's debuted, he's reinventing himself, he's, he's come along as a new character called Whoop De Doo. Whoop De Doo! <laughs> <laughs> Who is making his storyline debut this Sunday. So Whoop De Doo will be there this Sunday. I love it, just give peace a chance, guys. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head over. Of course, we've got more friends at the Academy. We've got more people that wanna say a few words. So we're gonna hand you over to one of my probably least favorite wrestlers. <laughs> but, he's, but he's a friend of the Academy, no doubt. Hi, guys. Hi. Yes, I'm right. uh, just wanted to say, uh, massive congratulations on the award show. You've all worked so hard for it. You're all little superstars, and this night is about all of you guys showing how hard you've worked. I couldn't be prouder. Um, this this means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to Ross, and it means a lot to all of you guys as well. Um, you've all worked so hard, and I can't stress that enough. Like you've all worked so hard. You're all winners. Um, because of you guys, I get to feel like a winner. I get to share these memories with you guys, and. Yeah, honestly, I couldn't be prouder. Without you guys, I can't do this. Without Ross, I can't do this. So, just, just want to say a massive thank you. Um, but yeah, you're all, you're all winners. You've all worked so hard. And I can't stress that enough. You've all worked so hard. I couldn't be prouder. So, the, the, there was an award I wanted to give out personally, but I'm not allowed to. Um, I'm looking at you, Damien. <laughs> um, if there was a... Best Tan Award. Unfortunately, Cannonball Campbell would not be winning that because his tan is dreadful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. Um, you're all winners. You all deserve all the awards in the world. And I love you all. So thank you very much for letting me do this. Concepts and stuff, and he really does love this place. So I'm excited to see Casey obviously come back this Sunday. He's a workhorse for this academy. You've seen him in the longest matches, the most matches, the most mentally draining matches as well, where you've got to think and look after everybody. He really does put in a shift every time, Casey. So thank you, obviously, for the message. <laughs> Course. and again a very very vital one because this is for most improved Ooh. now most improved is vital because you have to keep improving in wrestling wrestling uh, especially if you get to a professional standard you're easily forgotten you could wrestle the match of your life and then the next day no one cares because they're always looking at that next thing so you've got to keep improving you've got to keep with the time so i'm crystal to this want a quick glance at the phone you can do mate yeah most improved. This, everyone has been phenomenal watching everyone grow. Like I said, they've been learning just over a year in now from our Michigan anniversary show. So we've all drastically improved to no end. But we just feel that this person has just pushed themselves in the last six months and really made, really grasped what they could from this. So damn the man.
you've not won an award yet, are you a little bit nervous? Yeah. I think I feel every year when I do these coaching and year stuff and I'm there trembling and you're there with the biggest grin on your face and you're showing everybody my swimwear pictures at the same <laughs> So what this is, we're going to call this the Future Star Award. So what we're doing with this, this is exciting because we want to see more of what you are capable of. So the majority of people on this list are the ones that debuted at our last anniversary show. They're absolutely knocked it out of the park. They're progressing so well on the showcase shows. Obviously these awards aren't included in the showcase shows. But we want to collectively acknowledge that we are excited to see you in the future, literally this Sunday, and what more you can do with your characters, your gimmicks, your personalities in wrestling and in life as well. So we're gonna, uh, Chris, if you can read off the names and then we'll hand the awards. There's five people gonna collect these at once. So here's Reaper. Reaper! 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 I'm, it's scary to see how you've grown up. You know, Charlie started off, you know, a little bit shorter, you know, <laughs> very, very, very pale. <laughs> and now he's grown up, blossomed, and he's still very, very pale. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it's so good to see, and it's so good to see the 
professionalism as well. Uh, there was a moment that really stood out for me, and I'm really true, this was on the last anniversary show, how you, I didn't notice this first time around, you were telling your story and planting the seeds that we wanted on a professional level. I was like, wow, we were doing some really cool stuff uh, when you were celebrating with Liam at the end. You didn't allow him to raise your hand. I think there might be a bit of tension there, there might be a bit of force. You were eliminated from the rumble. Another moment that I noticed, I didn't notice this like first time around, was Axel Strife threw a Brussels sprout at Liam, at Liam Kafferke's head. <laughs> and Liam didn't know where it came from. So like, like, the back Axel going, oh, it! And then Liam just, <laughs> God bless him. Well, I did ask PCW for a star, and they said, sorry, we don't have any, but you can have Liam Kafferke. <laughs> So obviously I've got you guys to vote on some moments. We're going to share with you now some of our funniest moments on our storyline show.
upset absolutely everybody in this building tonight. <laughs> Keep them mocktails going, mate. Make some friends. <laughs> some really cool moments there. Bolster doing in the shift there, dressed as the King's Guard. <laughs> and still wrestling in a, in a Royal Rumble. So to be able to put in a shift, the plan was to actually hire an act. So for that, but well, then you think Bogster is so good at everything. Again, I'm always in competition with the people I wrestle. I'm going to make you look better than you make me look, and they can do the same. <coughs> so this person already has that rare ability. From day one, had this rare ability of just being so giving from a professional perspective, but just a genuinely good human being as well, to be honest. Really good person. But we ran out of awards then, didn't we? Oh, oh did we? <laughs> 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 well, well, most, the most given awards, that's what I've said, so important in wrestling. Yeah. Uh, and we're so lucky here that we could give this to any any member, but we just thought this person stood out just fractionally. Ego. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ego. 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 
Now, I just wanted to give a special shout out to all the lovely kids. I don't even want to say kids. Use are professional wrestlers. Use are champs. Apart from Charlie, I don't know that they, they can screw up. But everybody else, you are absolutely fantastic and I'm missing you all. I wish I could be there and support you. It's been absolutely good and not being there. But I'm going to be watching the videos and I can't wait to see the highlights. Like, I'm, I'm first in line. As soon as this is done, Ross is sending me the footage. So please do your best. Absolutely smash it. Well done, everybody. And can't wait to see you next. Bye. Sorry, just one more thing um, while I remember. I'm going to give an extra 10 points to Gryffindor to any wrestler who destroys that merge table. The, oh. you, you know the one. The oh, wrestling oh, table. Oh, oh, the one with those lovely ladies just over there. Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, if you can do me a favour and just absolutely trash it, it will mean a lot to me. I'm sure it will mean a lot to you. All the best. Academy and Sports Camps. 
Esteemed members of the Blackpool community, Ross. <laughs> In the beginning, there was an idea. And that idea came to fruition. And that fruition came to reality. When you think of rascals, children's pro wrestling academy and sports camps, what words come to mind? Greatness, ambition, eccentric, fun times, the future, super califragilistic expialidocious. Steve, what? This is only a minute long video. <coughs> right, sorry. Right. <laughs> now I know this speech may be 10 minutes long, but if you ask me, there's not enough words to describe you guys. So from me, the lone roll, Big Steve Braddock, the Golden Twins, and our Australian neighbour, Axel Strife, we love you, we hope you have a great time tonight, good luck, and above all else, Keep on rolling. Okay, guys, we are going for it. So we're going to take a five, ten minute come for it. So, of course, get yourself some food, get yourself some mocktails. If the toilet is well, it's still occupied, use the skate. Oh! Uh, back on track. Is everybody happy? Are you okay?
Some people like to talk about having talent. Some people like to say they're the next big thing. Some people like to say they have the it factor. I would know because I've had all three for a very long time. But at the same time, I know all three of those things when I see them. Rascal Academy, it's your boy Franco Varga. And you guys have all three of those. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out. I know I'm taking time from wrestling for the heavyweight title in China, the main event. But no, I just wanted to take some time to give each and every one of you a shout out. I see the work you put in. I know, I know, I know how hard it is. And I see how much you guys are progressing and putting in the work every week, every month of the year. So keep on grinding, keep on gaining that experience and keep doing whatever you gotta do to be better than Ross. <laughs> I'll see you guys the next time I'm in England. I know you won't disappoint. Rascal's Children's Pro Wrestling Academy. The rabbit has a message for every single one of you. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. What a fantastic bunch of talented people you all are. From Scarlet Crystal. To the tornado, Zach Travis. To the keyboard warrior. And to you, Joshy VK. We have some unfinished business. You may have won the battle, but you have certainly not won the war. And that's just to name a few. The Academy is full of talented new stars of the future. So... As 2023 closes to an end and you celebrate, remember, this is only the beginning. 2024 is when every one of you breaks down the door. Congratulations. See you soon. <laughs> Announced his retirement. Oh. Oh. 
Really? We did say in that video we might be around the Rascal Academy because he's got some unfinished business. <laughs> so remember when I said this Sunday is also full of surprises? Stay tuned for that. So I don't think Rare Bit is done at Rascal's Academy. <laughs> Okay, now let's jump into our next award. Again, another very, very special award to say the least. Uh, call this again the Comeback of the Year. Another inspirational trophy, another inspirational award for a wrestler who has returned from major setbacks and got involved and just continued to thrive, to say the least. Yeah, the uh, Comeback of the Year award. This was at the very beginning. This, I think this stems from a moment at the very beginning of uh, our very first show. And we had such a good show, and then this one moment, the potential of it had, could just stop all of this. And, and that's, you know, the reality of wrestling. We, we play on this F knife edge. We do it so well. But the way this young person came back, and not only came back from that little bit of adversity, she came back and she stole the show again and again and again, and that has just become a, just a forgotten memory now. Uh, and we're so proud of her. She's a diamond. her swag, her professionalism, I knew straight away, okay, that's my main event, now let's work every match in the card. I didn't know who your opponents were, I didn't know who your tag partner was. Do you remember that match when I said I've got people coming in and they're staying in hotels to be at Casey's opponent? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. And it ended up just being me and Jack Johnson. <laughs> Which is fun. But it made for a fun story, it made to surprise you, and that's what it's all about. It's full of surprises we don't want. And you guys have done well to obviously keep everything a surprise for your parents. But yeah, you own two main events. You've got a hell of a match, of course, this weekend against Trinity. And of course, we know that your mission is, I think you obviously are chasing a certain match on. Who's your dream opponent now at the academy? I don't know. I think it's AJ. Who did you slap on the last show? Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. So we've got unfinished business there as well. And also read it something around. Uh, a great award, we go to another award, of course, very prestigious award this one. <coughs> because I'm going to let you do all the talking on this one, but the award is for Baby Face of the Year. Oh. A baby face is the ultimate good guy. <laughs> baby Face of the Year. This person is a. Uh, Oh, they have stolen many a show. They have brought so much joy, so much happiness to everyone. They're an unbelievable talent. They've got such a future in this business, without a doubt. 
I think you all know, sat there, who's going to be the crown baby face yeah. of the year. Tornado! 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 Because we've just done Babyface of the Year. Ooh. So what's the Babyface without the heel of the year, of course? Now, if you want a quick I'm going to say, I'll need to see this. <laughs> so, of course, for the wrestler who excels at portraying a villainous character that the crowd <laughs> loves to hate. Oh, come on. It's 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 it is. Oh, come on. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Obviously, every Babyface needs a heel. And every villain needs their moment to put over the face as well as themselves. And the most dastardly here, as much as I hate to say it, you. Now I know 
I know when he drives home and gets home, he's gonna send me the softest message again. Oh, I also nearly cried. Your guys were amazing. <laughs> 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 Not just wrestling, but life, but definitely professional wrestling. It's it is a it's a tough game. I've said this to you many times. Mentally tough game. But uh, to like I said, I'm very proud that I've got friends like Boxer, like AJ, like Casey Ryan. You know, I'm really, really proud that they are genuinely friends. Friends that uh, Axel calls me out, says, "Right, Ross, sit down. You're working too hard. I'm concerned." You know, friends that check in with me every single day. You know, my friends that is down here every single day. Hey, 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 hey. Have you set me hammer cup yet? <laughs> Nearly, mate. We've got a bed set up there for you, mate. Let's pay the 1,300 one friend. <laughs> and we can talk. So, of course, we share many moments. Of course, we're having fun. We're having a blast. Now, I did say tonight does not include the showcase shows, but we were having so much fun on the showcase shows that we've included our funniest moments from. Showcase show. So, so, please enjoy. See how many of us go red in the face. As we enjoy our funniest moments from the
allowed to go off script. So obviously the storyline shows, we go off, we have to stick to a script, we have to tell the story to get to the audience. The showcase shows are just told, this is your time, go out there and have fun. And do go crazy, embarrass yourself, step out of comfort zone, <laughs> get hung up on the ropes and get thrown again. My god, that's, that's always funny, I can't wait to wrestle you guys again and just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Travis throwing bricks at your head like it's home alone. <laughs> funny stuff and keyboard making his appearance again and again, pulling people's pants down, silly shrinking people. When it comes to the showcase shows, your matches have had more edits, <laughs> so we don't get cancelled than any of the matches. I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. But yeah, showcase shows are always fun. And it allows us to experiment as well, like try different characters. In case someone has tried different character, AJ has always said to me, uh, I just want to have fun, I want to try something different, so that's what we allow them to do that and just be a bit goofy. And it's cool that if you're dancing is still better than boxers wrestling. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it my dad so well. <laughs> I, mean, I think that was just 20 year old me wrestling to be honest. I think that was just what I was doing when I was 20. Uh, and it was a bad influence, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, no, we had fun, and that was obviously our showcase funniest moment. We're now going to a few more awards to hand out, but we're going to head you over to another message from someone that's really helped me a lot in the wrestling business and has become uh, such a great friend. Hey everyone, this is former WWE NXT UK superstar Tyson T. Rowe. I've just got a quick few words just to praise you all, really. I mean, Rossi has been telling me great news about all of you. He's been telling me how you push each other, how hard you all work together, and how amazing you all are becoming. Hopefully, in the very near future, I'll be able to come there myself and see it all. Be a part of what you're creating. Keep up the good work. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Have a great Christmas. He was trained by, I wouldn't say Fit Finley, uh, William Regal. He's been in WWE for longer than I even knew he was in WWE for. And the stories that guy's been sharing with me recently is as a fountain of knowledge. Uh, he's been training obviously the best, and he was my first ever match in professional wrestling. Oh, yeah. He threw you in. He did. And at the time, he was the PCW heavyweight champion and the PCW tag champion. And what we call about giving back to wrestling, you know how wrestling works. I won that match. So thanks to T-Bone for making me look so strong in my debut match. Heavyweight champion, WWE star, tag champion, and he allowed me to get that win and start my career, of course, in professional wrestling. And it's so cool that someone of that caliber, that knowledge wants to be a part of this and approves of what we're doing. So again, uh, I'm talking to T-Bone a lot because we're, he, he's kind of changed careers a little bit. <coughs> I've kind of got a new job as well, so we're, you know, we kind of take our clothes off and say to you. Yes. So you can ask him that in the Q&A. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully Tyson comes down very, very soon. I'm sure he's keen. I don't know in what capacity training you or even having a match. But if he was to wrestle a kid, you guys have to step up. Who am I going to give that match to? So you've got to step up and show me if you feel worth that match. So yes, big shoes to fill there. But we head into our next award. And we're going to call this one, give me the mic, because this is for the best microphone skills. Awarded to the wrestler who develops the most captivating and charismatic promos. Mrs. Winston, I wonder. on the mic. I think they need it. If you give it up, you won't give it back. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so. going to present the reward for Give Me The Mic, Best Microphone. We all know where this is going, yeah. but just before he comes up, it, it's, <coughs> it's brilliant that a young person has that much confidence to stand in front of a room full of adults and peers and just deliver lines, jokes, without any hesitation. It's amazing the intonation he's got in his voice, the comedic timing he's got, and everything else that he brings to the academy, the wrestling ring, which, you know, is phenomenal. But also, inside of that cockiness and that humour, there is a genuinely really nice young man. So he deserves this award because he works really hard on it. So, 
Come on to the stage. You know who you are. Anyway, 
This means a lot. <coughs> and it means more than uh, this means more to me than that title meant to Ross. Oh. So thank you to you all. Aww. It's actually people. <laughs> Hey, this is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. And this is for the Rascals Children's Wrestling Academy. And this is for the Children's Awards evening. That's right. I know the children work hard. All you guys work hard to become pro wrestlers, athletes, and entertainers. And I know I'm a true inspiration to all of you. I really do appreciate that. And I just want to give a shout out to all of you for all the hard work you've done this year. And I like the way that you guys support each other. Take care and God bless and good luck. And by the way, you suck. Hey, oh, it's hey, true. Hey, it's Sam hey. too.
Yeah, exactly. So not only a breakout star, a person that was uh, finding their confidence. You still took part in the first show, but of the the king executioner. Yeah. Uh, and then you were finding your feet, and then you only went on to produce, which was actually your first ever match, technically, because you did the Battle Royals, match of the year. So that speaks volumes. And now you're the main event alongside Keyboard Warrior this Sunday. So it speaks volumes, your ability to learn, your ability to adapt. How you got through that uh, Rabbit match was stunning. Because I was watching that thinking most professionals would have crumbled, would have broke. But you were so solid, you were so strong. And it was an inspiration. I was inspired by that match. So, congratulations on match of the year. Congratulations on breakout star of the year. graduate from your academy, you're going to do cool things. So the reason why we're labeling this as the graduation award is because we're very proud of when we've been doing this for a year, and we've already got someone going from young man, child, to professional. So the graduation award goes to West <laughs> Um, 
do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> and if you of candles continue, you know how much I want to retire from this game, I really do. But it is hard to get out of this game. It's like a marriage, you just can't escape it. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, you know, a, a retirement for a British regiment, wrestling legend, or a double retirement, who knows? Or maybe I, I finally get my wish and I can turn heel and just say what I really, really want to say to half of the audience. Well, not you guys. <laughs> but we're going to end tonight, guys, with just everybody that took part in our anniversary show, if you are in attendance. Can you just rise now because we're going to present to you some medals from the show. And that's how we're ending tonight. So what we'll do, uh, just to make life easier for myself and Chris, we'll pull out your name and come and collect your anniversary. So, this is for the children. And obviously you'll get your moment rebound, you'll get your moment even as well. Let's go the Crystal! Thank <laughs> you. 